What is up guys, Evil Do Us Arm here today, and today I have for you a video where we're going to be looking at the uh, legendary accessories in Blade and Soul on the player versus environment, PvE uh, side of the game, so running dungeons, raids, things like that, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the effects of these accessories, um, obviously where to get them I'll mention of course, uh, the effects of the accessory, what they do, and what stage you should look to upgrade it to, and then what sorts of stages have different breakpoints. So as far as progressing your character, you know, what stage do you want to get each accessory up to before you move on to the next one? Or if you're upgrading them all at once, you know, is, is there a certain point where you should stop upgrading it and move on to the next thing? So we're going to go through that for player versus environment stuff, PvE stuff, and uh, let's get right into it. So first accessory we're going to look at, first legendary accessory, is the Penumbra Ring, so the Black Tower Ring, Skybreak Spire Ring. Um, that you get for beating Skybreak Spire that drops randomly off of the bosses. Um, this ring is a random drop. It's got a 1 in 4 chance from whatever boss it drops from, depending on what element that you need. Um, and you can only get it in Skybreak Spire, or sometimes if they throw it in a trove, they threw it in the Taiwan one, I think, uh, a couple months ago. Uh, but you do have a small chance at that if it does come next trove. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the sucker's uh, Control i upgrade menu pads. So uh, the ring at stage 1 has this effect to 10% focus recovery on a critical hit, which is pretty cool. Whenever you get a critical hit, you have a chance to get 10% of your focus back. Um, the breakpoint for this accessory is stage 4, so even though the thing says stage 6, it goes up to 20%, like see stage 3 is still 10%, but stage 6 says 20% uh, chance of focus recovery, you actually get that effect at stage 4. So if we go ahead and hit manage equipment and look at the stage 4 effect, the stage 4, my next upgrade, um, you get the chance of 20% focus on a critical hit, as you can see right there on the screen. So all you gotta do is get this ring up to stage 4. Um, and you'll be basically getting the maximum effect or the maximum benefit from this ring. So that is your upgrade, uh, what you want to max out the ring at, the Skybreak Spire ring. Now, looking further up the path, just so everybody knows what it is, when you get up to the Penumbra ring, stage 10, or whatever ring, Igniter, whatever class, whatever your ring is, stage 10 for the Skybreak Spire ring, it gets a bonus effect called the Chaos Effect. So as you can see right there, Chaos Effect. Well, what is the Chaos Effect? The Chaos Effect applies the chance of focus recovery to all of your teammates when that effect happens. So if you were attacking a boss and the chaos effect is triggered, then all of your teammates additionally gain the focus recovery as well. If you have a lot of people running stage 10 rings around, you're gonna get a lot of procs of this focus recovery and basically your team will be able to hit their main DPS rotations consistently. Um, however, to upgrade to that stage 10 ring is going to cost you a ton of materials. So that's why I'm saying your breakpoint should be about four and uh, you know move on to your next accessory for upgrading, um, basically. Um, so yeah, that is your uh, ring, your Skybreak Spire ring. Next thing we're going to look at is the Skybreak Spire earring. So Skybreak Spire earring, uh, same exact thing. It says it gets its breakpoint at stage 6, but in fact if you upgrade it to stage uh, 4, you get the same benefit. So you can, uh, I guess I can't really hover it. Yes I can, I can hit this 4 right here. Phantasm stage, earring stage 4, you see I get the critical rate up to 10%. Originally it is only uh, 5% at stage 1. If we open up the play infographic. Uh, stage 1 of the Skybreak Spire Ring is critical rate plus 5%, critical hit plus uh, deals 100% attack damage bonus. If stage 4, if I'm hovering this little stage 4 icon, if I can get a pop, yep, there it is. Critical rate goes up to 10% and critical hit damage goes to 150% additional attack power bonus. So same as the ring, you want to get the Skybreak Spire Earring up to stage 4. Once again, there's also a stage 10 bonus on that earring. Uh, that stage 10 earring has the uh, punishment effect on the enemy. And if you were going to guess that that applies to all of your teammates, you'd be right. All of your teammates get the additional critical rate 10%, as well as the 150% attack power bonus um, on attacks. So basically, you get a bunch of people with stage 10s running around, and you'll burn down things even faster. But of course, like I said before, it's going to be a lot of materials, so you really only need to get it up to stage 4, and you'll be good to go as far as uh, upgrading the earring for a while anyway. Um, and you can go ahead and move on to your next accessory. Um, actually, I would prioritize upgrading that earring first. That earring is a huge DPS increase uh, as far as upgrades go. Um, next thing we're going to look at is the Oath Necklace. So the Oath Necklace uh, similarly has uh, breakpoint and differences and all that, and we're going to go over that right now. So Stage 1 Oath Necklace triggers weakened status on enemy. Stage 10 triggers weakened status on enemy. Well, what's the difference on those? So the weakened status, what it does is it increases your attack power by 10 against whatever you're fighting from stages 1 to 5. And then from stages 6 to 10, it increases your attack power by 20 against whatever you're fighting. So therefore, that means your breakpoint on your Oath Necklace is to get that sucker to stage 6. So you see right here, I have mine sitting on stage 6. I'm not going to touch that thing anymore. I get my AP bonus. It's not going to increase my stats too much. I'm going to get a little more critical chance by upgrading it further. But as far as the material cost and all that good stuff to make that upgrade, it's not really worth it, especially with the uh, Vortex Temple accessories coming up up here too as well. Um, so anyway, 
get your oath necklace up to stage six. Uh, you don't want to be wasting any more materials than you need to um, for upgrading that necklace. So once again, stage six gives you the weakened status on an enemy, which increases your attack power by 20 against against that enemy. Uh, additionally, that weakened status applies to all of your teammates as well, so all of your teammates that are attacking that basically get a 20, uh, 20 AP bonus, which is nice for your parties. Uh, if you can get multiple people proccing that at the same time, your whole party's getting uh, AP bonuses, and it's a good, it's a generally a good uh, situation to have, is to have that necklace up to stage 6. As far as the uh, Vortex Temple accessories go, not having them and not knowing the effects and where the breakpoints on them, I really can't give you too much information on it. Um, you know, but it, it's definitely, uh, from what I've seen from clanmates and people, generally it seems like getting it to that stage 6 or past that stage 3 is where you uh, start getting more damage than out of your Oath Necklace. So really, uh, your Oath Necklace is quite a strong necklace as far as accessories go, legendary accessories anyway. Um, we're going to move on to the bracelet now. Uh, bracelet, if we go to the Manage Equipment menu on this sucker, your bracelet, you want to get that sucker up to stage 10 as soon as possible. Stage 10 bracelet, the reason for it is going from stage 9 to stage 10 basically increases whatever by 100% for just about every class. I don't think I've seen any class that doesn't or get a, at least gets a huge bonus. So for example, my Tiger stage 9 is 215% attack power bonus. At stage 10, it goes up to 300%. That's an 85% increase on the effect, which is crazy. It's a crazy DPS increase getting that sucker up to stage 10. Compared to stage 1, if we were to go ahead and hover that, we're going from 130% up to 300%. That's almost a 2.5 times increase on uh, attack power. So bracelet, you want to get to stage 10. Bracelet to stage 10 is probably your next biggest priority. You're pretty even with the earring as far as uh, damage goes. You're going to want to get that sucker up to stage 10 as fast as possible. So earring stage 4, bracelet stage 10. Uh, I would go necklace next and then as well as getting your ring up as far as priority on upgrades goes for that first row there. So anyway, um, additionally, every class has different effects on their tiger versus uh, divine dragon bracelet. Um, some classes go one over the other. I'm not going to go through every single class. There's so many different classes, so many different specs, so many different things you can do. Um, as far as these bracelets go, like shadows can have different than uh, ice or lightning or whatever class you're running. So, you know, you, you gotta you gotta do a little bit of research on your own on that one. I can't go through every single class right now and <laughs> pick out which one you gotta pick. So, take a look around there. If you do have questions, go ahead and ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, bracelet drops from the uh, Naryu Sanctum. You can also trade it in for Draken Cores at the ex Exchange Merchant after you've cleared Naryu Sanctum 10 times. Um, Necklace, since I forgot to mention it, comes from Desolate Tomb, drops from that boss. Okay, belt. Your belt is a nice little item, although it's really not too much of a priority on the upgrades. Uh, once you get that belt first stage, and you can, as long as you're not tanking anything, really, you only just need it for that life force uh, recovery effect. So life force gives you basically instant healing uh, when you get hit. It has a 30 second internal cooldown, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and as you upgrade it, each stage basically increases that life force boost a little bit. Um, you're not getting anything else from that otherwise. So, uh, you know, as long as you're not getting hit, if you're iframing correctly and you're not tanking, you don't really need to upgrade this bracelet, or this belt rather. If you are tanking, you're going to want to upgrade that belt for the life force boost, which I think caps at that stage 6 again, just like the oath necklace if I'm remembering correctly. Um, getting that to stage 6 would be your priority on that one. So yeah, that is the belt. Belt drops from Naryu Foundry. Don't worry too much about upgrading it. Just have it to go along with your necklace so you get that 10 AP bonus from the set boost as well as 10,000 hit points. All right, so that is the belt drops there. Next thing we're gonna look at is the gloves, and I do not have the legendary gloves, so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, pick these suckers up and look at it in the control I menu. Gloves don't have any super secret effect, they just upgrade and get uh, different stat bonuses uh, as you go. Um, there's nothing too special about it, I mean, it's just crazy DPS increases. Upgrade it as you can, as you will. Each stage gets better uh, as you upgrade. There's no break point where it's certainly better. I mean, as you can see, stage 9 to stage 10 is a double increase, two times as much damage. So you're going to want to get that sucker up to stage 10. Um, as far as farming him goes, you're going to be running a lot of dungeons, a lot of end game dungeons. You're going to be there for a while. So uh, <laughs> have fun with that. Good luck. As you can see, I haven't even gotten anywhere near picking those up. As a little uh, note though, those true Starstone gloves while you're farming up for these King gloves um, are actually really good. That 2000 additional damage trigger proc is pretty cool for your DPS increase. Uh, it's nice and it's also a nice improvement over the Hollows gloves. Um, so Starstone gloves are actually a decent pickup um, as far as gloves go. 
All right, and that is it, guys. Those are all of the legendary accessories uh, that you got in the game. So that is your breakpoints, what you need to upgrade them to, where to get them, uh, priority on upgrading. I mean, I, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it gives you an idea on what to upgrade or where to upgrade or what stages to get everything up to. Um, if you did like the video, make sure to leave a like. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. Got a lot of great content, guys. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.